and, and perhaps a, an observation. And again, I thank you all so much for, for watching. I, I thank the press for, for being here. Uh, our goal all along has really been to, to make sure that we give as accurate and up-to-date information as we can. But I, one of the things that I said, and as you know, I've, as, along with being a doctor, I also served in the United States Army. I, I served during Desert Storm. And one of the things that I said when, when all this started is that, that we, as Americans, right now are fighting a biological war, and, and our enemy uh, is the COVID-19 virus. And, and when I fought, uh, when I served in the United States Army, one of the things that was so reassuring to me uh, as an American was that Americans were on board with our mission. They, they were behind everything that we were doing to, to really try to win this war. And I, I would just hope uh, that Virginians and Americans would, would look at this as a war and, and want to win that war. We're the best country in this universe. We're the best state uh, in the greatest country in the world. So let's all be proud of that and know that the way that we're going to win this war is to roll up our sleeve and get vaccinated. And that's the way we'll put this pandemic behind us. And then we can move on as a country uh, and come out of this pandemic uh, in even a stronger position. So for all of you that have been vaccinated, I say thank you on behalf of Virginia and on behalf of this country. For those of you that haven't, perhaps for any reason, you, you've just been hesitant, go out there and be part of the solution. Uh, be proud to be a Virginian. Be proud to be an American. And let's work together and get this pandemic behind us.